Well, hey guys, I am actually making this video. <laughs> so there is a huge trend going around where people are reading assumptions about them that they ask their viewers or followers to tell them that they had. This is so hard to explain. I put on my story, please tell me your assumptions that you have about me and be honest. And you guys really popped off. The first person I saw do this was Avery Ovard, so I just wanted to give her credit for coming up with this video. I was curious, so I kind of wanted to do it. And we're gonna see now what you guys really think about me. Just before I get into this video, I just wanted to put a little thing out there. There might be some negative comments in here. I kind of wanted to make this video to make a point, sort of. And it's that no matter how positive or no matter how you present yourself on social media, there's always going to be people who you just don't click with. And that's not your fault like not every person is supposed to be best friends so I just wanted to say that even though some of these are negative I'm not going to let that affect me and I'm just going to keep living my life like I want to do it and what makes me happy and I just really want to inspire others to do the same thing and don't let anyone else tell you how you should act with that out of the way let's get into reading your guys' assumptions about me. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay. The first one is your eye color is always changing. Like one day it's green, the other it's blue. This actually kind of is true because I just got new contacts that kind of have a bluish tint to them. They're not supposed to be colored, but they kind of make my eyes look blue. So if you look to my past videos, my eyes are more green, but now my eyes are like blue. You and your siblings get along. Yes, we've always gotten along. Our parents taught us to not fight and stuff, so we've always gotten along. Along. I got this one so much. It's you are popular at school and I don't think I would ever call myself popular I don't even like using that word. I feel like I have a lot of friends that I'm happy with and I don't consider myself popular at my school, but I have friends from different groups. Yeah, so I don't know if that explained it. You low-key love Jojo Siwa. I high-key love Jojo Siwa. You have a secret boyfriend. I wish. You're rich. Okay, I'm pretty sure every YouTuber gets this because I feel like a lot of the YouTubers that are like really into YouTube tend to invest into YouTube and that probably gives off the impression that they can buy whatever they want because that's only what the audience is seeing. But I would not say that I am rich. I am so blessed to have like a roof over my head, food on my table, and just like an amazing family and health and stuff, but I would not call myself rich. That you don't really dress up for school. Some days I really want to look cute, but other times I'm literally just wearing this. It's yes and no. You're half Italian? No, I am not. My heritage is actually really confusing. You secretly wish you were American, but you are still proud to be Canadian. I am so proud to be Canadian and I love where I live. I don't know if it's going to be the best place for like my future career and stuff, but I don't think I wish I was American. Like, like I'm fine being Canadian. This one's kind of like the same, but you want to move to LA. Um, I haven't been there enough to really know what it's like living there because I know a lot of people say it's completely different when you're visiting from when you're actually living there. So I don't know if that is a place for me but I'm just gonna do what's best for me so you think Caillou needs hair I like Caillou exactly the way he is so you're the sweetest person ever and you treat everyone so nicely PS I love you so much I love you too that is so nice and I really do try to put as much positivity out in the world and I believe that the positive energy that you give is a positive energy that you're going to get back you dyed your hair before no I am terrified of dyeing my hair I don't think I will ever do it and I don't want to wreck my hair I'm just really scared of it you wish you were friends with bigger YouTubers like the Gerties. You want the Gerties to notice slash be friends with you. You honestly want to meet Emma Chamberlain so bad. You want to be like Summer Marla and all those girls. You are kind of obsessed with Han Maloche. You really want to be a big YouTuber. Okay, let me just put all of these things to rest. So I know that I have uploaded two videos where I have kind of referenced Hannah and Summer and Maddie, but that was just a coincidence. It would be so cool if I could be friends with them. And I kind of went through a phase where I was like, I could have gotten invited to this trip if I had this many followers on Dope. But then I'm like, no, like I'm gonna be myself. I'm going to take my time. And I have so many YouTube friends that aren't in the Gertie Squad that I love. I really do get inspired by those people because they are working really hard and they're really successful but I also have other inspirations that are not from that dope squad. I'm still gonna stick to my own content. I'm just going to focus on myself, work on my own content, and be my own person. 
I know that vlog style videos are super popular now in YouTube and I wanted to try it out and when I tried it out I had so much fun and I find it fun how I can share more of my life on YouTube and not just like those highly productive videos. I love making those highly edited highly productive videos but I am in a full semester of school right now and it's literally impossible for me to upload like two highly edited videos every single week so when I found this other type of video that I love doing and that is trendy right now I was like okay cool I can do more vlog style, more chill videos, and just show more of my like unedited self. And those videos get like zero views. But I think I still want to do them because it really does make me happy. I know that some of you guys really like seeing those videos and some of you don't, but just know that my plan is to make some high quality, high production videos and some vlogs that are still high quality, but they're a little bit less like filtered and edited. That is the tea on those types of videos. You get bullied for your YouTube channel. I actually don't get bullied for my YouTube channel. I feel like so many people at my school were so nice when they found out that I had it. Maybe they were saying stuff behind my back. I have no idea what they were saying. But to my face, they were being really nice. It was kind of a little bit of a joke at the beginning, but they are all really nice to me now, and I'm happy that I kept going. You're one of my biggest inspirations. I literally love everything about you. Thank you for being the person that you are. That is so cute. Thank you so much. That was so nice of you. You're small. So true. I'm literally five foot and a half. Like I thought I was 5'1 and now I'm 5 foot and a half. Your life is actually perfect. Um, heck no. I believe that your life is what you make it and your outlook on life basically creates your life. There is a ton of things that stress me out in my life and just time and being able to do all the things that I want. My life is not perfect and I go through times where I'm literally crying because I don't know how I'm going to get everything done. But I think always switching that mindset to a positive one and saying inspiring and motivating words to yourself can definitely help any situation. Basically, my life is what I make it and I'm still working on trying to switch that negative mindset when I'm anxious to a more positive one. You wish you weren't diabetic. Um, okay, this is like yes and no. Obviously, if I had the choice to not have diabetes and have diabetes, I'd probably think like no thanks. Because I have it, I am thankful because it really just gives me an opportunity to be more mindful about what I'm putting into my body and just about my health in general. You are the best coffee maker in the world. <laughs> You're a really good student and you put effort in school. School is really important to me and I definitely try really hard on my grades while still trying to manage YouTube. So I would say that my grades are pretty good. You're way too sweet to people, which people might take advantage of. I've definitely gotten taken advantage of a, not a lot, but frequent, it's happened more than once. That's not going to stop me from being extra nice to people. I think being nice is so important and I don't like getting taken advantage of really changed my personality. Sometimes you feel sad because you can't eat everything you want because of diabetes. This is actually true and I don't show a lot of this on my channel because I want to really inspire others to make sure that they're doing everything they can to take care of their diabetes and I feel a lot of pressure to have a really good diet and to stick with it and to not cheat but I do have times where I get so frustrated where I can't just like eat what everyone else is eating and sometimes I have to bring my own food and it's just an extra hassle and you just feel a little bit different than other people but I don't really care like I'd rather have good health than to be eating what everyone else is eating you're super shy I got this a lot and I feel like I'm actually kind of the opposite of that. I am not saying that like being shy is a bad thing, but for me, I think I'm more of an extroverted person. When I'm around people, I tend to talk to everyone I can and I love talking to new people and I'll just go up to you and be like, hey, how was your weekend? Like, how are you today? And it makes me happier when I talk to someone new or just when I'm around people in general. I assumed you were an ugly baby, but turned out really beautiful. Thank you. Um, Yes, I was an ugly baby. I was literally, oh my gosh, I was a pudding cup. Grace is your sister. Tea. Oh, but then there's some people who are like, you're the exact same person when you're not recording. And I'm so glad that you guys think, well, some of you guys think that. But you smell like oranges, haha, <laughs> I don't know why I think that, lol. How did you know? You get good grades without trying very hard. No, I try so hard. And sometimes it gets really hard because I try so hard and I don't get the grade that I want. But I just have to learn to let things go. Honestly, not everything in life is going to work out the exact way that you wanted it to. So I definitely do have to really work hard. You actually have a pretty messy room most of the time. Okay, my bed is not made every day, that's true. But the rest of my room is pretty clean and I pride myself off of that. You created a YouTube channel only to be famous. Heck no, when I created my channel, I didn't know that you could get paid. I didn't know that views were a thing that made you get higher up in the search. Oh my gosh. 
much. I didn't know so many things. All I knew was that I wanted to make videos because it seemed so cool. There are so many reasons why I love YouTube. I just love creating and I love talking to you guys and it's just the best. Like, I don't even know. I don't really care about being famous. I just want to really work hard for my success. So that is going to be it from this reacting to your assumptions about me video. I just wanted to show you guys that it is okay for people to not like everything that you do or assume things about you that aren't true. You just have to move on with your life and be like, I am going to live how I want, when, however makes me happy. And I'm going to keep spreading positive vibes, keep spreading genuine content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for giving me your assumptions and for being honest. And I'll see you guys in my next video, bye. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Siri is gonna kill me, peace. Oh, 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 oh